Um, what's good? What's good, y'all? So I'm uh, watching this Miami Heat and Bulls game, and you know I'm fumbling through Twitter and Facebook at the same damn time in my future voice, and I come across this video in my Twitter feed, and it says the title of the video is "Home Invasion: Girl Gets Tore Up on Her Own Front Doorstep Over Twitter Beef." Now course like many of a person that might have looked at this video already you already know what to expect when you click on the topic when you click on the video like the girl's gonna get laid out on her own doorstep and you know it's presumably over something that she said to the attacker over twitter and it's pretty gruesome she laid her ass out it was not pretty by any means it's one point where she's like literally standing on top of the chick and like stomping her with the other foot like getting leverage with the foot that she's standing on her chest with it. and I'm like for one there, there's so much wrong with this I don't even know where to start for one the shit's over Twitter it's something over that was said on the internet and now I understand that we as people, not even as black people, this isn't a black or white thing, but we as people, when we're provoked, we we tend to strike back. That's just how it is, you know, whether it's physically or, you know, verbally provoked, emotionally, mentally, whatever. If we're provoked, we want to get back at somebody. But that's not the way to do it, yo. Like if you're talking sh if somebody's talking shit to you on Twitter, first of all, you don't show up on their doorstep with a fucking camera with boatloads of evidence of you just whooping their ass and you know, okay, you left, right after you leave, they're about to call the police, you're going to jail tonight. And from this Facebook article that I read, that chick went to jail. Like, so, it's, it's y'all, y'all cats need to think about y'all actions. That's pretty much the whole gist of this video and you know, I'm not the type of person that, you know, I see something online or something big happens and then I just, and then I like make my own video saying how I feel about this shit. You know, that's normally not in my character because I generally just quite simply don't give a fuck a lot about it, a lot, about a lot of this shit that I see. But that's right here, like, you know, it's just sad to watch. And I'm not gonna lie, it is entertaining to an extent. But like, you, but like when you break down the, the whole schematics of the situation, you look at it, like okay you know shit got laid out somebody recorded it it hit world star it hit youtube what else is new it's 2012 but when you look at like you know the ins and outs of it you see this shit is like getting assaulted literally on her own front doorstep you know over something that was said online and that's where the shit gets stupid at. you know that's now, how are you going to sit there and go up in court and explain to a judge, like, yeah, like, she was talking shit to me on Twitter, so I went and laid her ass out on her doorstep. For one, the shit's illegal because, you know, that's, that's pretty much home invasion. I seen on the video, she stepped her foot on the, like, on the threshold. So I'm pretty sure at that point, with her not even being welcomed at the house, that's home invasion. That's fuck up number one. And for two, I mean, you know, let, let's not forget, let's not forget that we're, you know, presented with evidence of assault, like I said, so, you know, you're not helping your case, you know, like I said, you know, y'all just gotta think about y'all actions whenever y'all doing this shit, you know, putting videos online or, like, just doing shit in general, and I understand, you know, somebody really egging you, and you gotta fight, and if you really gotta fight and that person's egging you on, like, yeah, let's dad gonna get it in, let's thump, and, you know, shit, sometimes you just really gotta do what you gotta do, you know, ain't no shame in that, but, for one, don't post this shit online, be like, everyone is going to see it. If it's really that entertaining, if it made that much of a mark, I mean, you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitter, I'm YouTube famous. Yeah, you're also Slammer famous, because your picture going to be in there the next day. So, you know, fuck it, if it's really that real, go go meet up at a park somewhere, you know, where ain't nobody going to be at, and fight it out for a good minute or two, you know, go on about your business, you know, don't make a big scene out of it, and I really forgot what I was about to say, no, sorry, I'm being distracted by this game, but we got to do better, y'all, my Charlie, in my Charlie Murphy voice, you know, we, we, we got to do better, because 
shit right here is stupid. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It's stupid, it's ignorant, it's juvenile, it's, it's tasteless. You know, you, you can't put too many bad adjectives on, you know, the video that I'm making a five minute, god damn, five minutes? Five minute long video describing, you know, you can't put an adjective to how, you know, of atrocious this act was whenever you break it all down, so you know. Stop with the dumb shit, nigga. Shit. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. So, you know, I'm out. I bored y'all to death for well over five minutes, you know. Hope y'all had fun. Enjoy me rambling on and on. Um, check out my music if you feel like it. I rap. Who doesn't these days? But I'm better at it than a lot of other people, so. Anyway, holla at your boy. Check it.